Hey y'all, it's Gord, your hurting hippie, with a morning porch pondering and my hair a mess. <laughs> it is Wednesday, it's hump day, middle of the week, finally halfway through. It's been a long week and I've got a long day ahead of me. I've got an appointment with my nutritionist today and I get my son this afternoon. I have my son this morning. Uh, he's stayed overnight last night, which was wonderful. And, uh, and pitter patter, let's get at her. Let's start talking. Hang on. Cheers. Uh, yeah, sleep, the elusive animal, the, the oddities of this thing we call sleep. I don't know how to say it. All I can say is it's odd. It, yesterday, I reported to all of you that I woke up from a dead sleep, a wonderful, beautiful, probably seven full hours without waking up once. It was wonderful. It helped me so much. Last night, I tried to repeat everything I did, tried to see if I'm back on a good schedule, and no. I, uh, I have been up since four o'clock. It's almost seven now. It is seven now. Uh, and I was up at 1, I was up at 2, I was up at 3. So it was a rough night. I'm tired. I, part of me even wants to cancel this appointment this afternoon so I can get asleep. But sleep, I mean, my, my oldest daughter said it best when I told her I was having trouble sleeping. She says, you don't say you have trouble sneezing. Sleep is some, like a sneeze. It's something that your body will do when it's time to do it. And if it isn't doing it, it isn't time to do it. So you don't have trouble sleeping. You just let yourself sleep when it happens and get over it. So, yeah, I, I think that's the way I need to look at things because I, I stress too much about it. If I think I'm not going to get my nap in the afternoon, I get nervous. I get anxious. I even sometimes have a panic attack thinking, oh no, I just don't, where will I squeeze some sleep in? And if I don't get sleep, eh. So, what about you guys? I, I know some of you have mentioned using melatonin and some have mentioned some other natural sleep enhancers. But what do you think of this thought about sleep? And I, a few of you mentioned, as well, I had it mentioned from other friends that they also the night before last night had a fantastic sleep and I'm wondering is it something in the air was it something about the alignment of planets who knows who knows I personally don't think that sleep is just a natural reaction like a sneeze a, a bod a body function like a sneeze because when sometimes when I'm asleep it's just natural but I have had my dearly departed mother come to me in my sleep and I have felt it as real as the day you know I uh, so sometimes I think sleep can be a portal it between now and then or now and something else that we don't understand as now. That's pretty deep for seven o'clock in the morning and the lack of sleep. So one day maybe I'll get into all that other worldy stuff because I believe in it. I believe that there's a lot more that, to this world and other worlds that we don't understand because we just aren't that bright yet. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony.